Well, welcome back to the Tiger Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with another video. This time, I want to talk to you about DX9 Kukinski. Kukinski is their take on a masterpiece style dead end, part of their Minasaur number four out of five to make the combined mode. I'm excited. Will DX9 win? We'll find out. I got this at ShowZ. You can get yours at ShowZ too. They seem to be at least $10 cheaper than everywhere else. So if you're looking to finish the set, check them out. So here is the packaging. Typical DX9. DX9 packaging is always way out there. It's something completely different. doesn't match anything else. So for art style, it's a win. It's something so way different. You just don't know what to expect. And you, look at this. You have to flip it. <laughs> it's a kind of reverse upside down packaging. Inner dream and external hobby. You can act like a man. It shows a bot mode. It's kind of like a like a blueprint kind of deal on the back there. It looks pretty good. Yeah, nice packaging. Gets the job done. Wait, flip him over. Here he is in his alt mode, and it's a nice looking alt mode. I think that th they actually did a pretty good job with this. Uh, looks good. I like the red. I like the way it looks like all the seams are pretty solid. Like they're not giant gaping gaps or anything like that. Uh, you do have, and it's strange because it doesn't look like it's transparent, but you can actually see through the windows, but they're really dark. So you can't see all the junk going on in there. So you don't have gigawatt issues, but uh, have that back in. Looks really nice. Uh, we've got, it seems to be painted all over, but that might just be the plastic. Uh, you have headlights in here, but you have some silver in there too. Uh, looks really good. You've got some reflective, like this looks very real world, almost like model-esque. Uh, painted hubcaps, rubber tires, uh, really, really good all the way around. I'm not sure what I just did mess around with this, that this wasn't untabbed like that a minute ago, but that came untabbed as I was messing around with it. So anyway, the bottom looks pretty clean all over. It is nice. It rolls really well. Excellent car mode. So an excellent car mode because the car mode is part of the combined mode in a way. Let's get into comparisons. First up, let's compare it to the G1 counterpart and it it looks like we have come a long way in engineering and style and it looks really good. Yeah, it does look really good. Um, doesn't match the color of it though. And I kind of like this red better. Here he is next to X Transbots and he is bigger than X Transbots, but not a whole lot bigger. I mean, it's not like uh, massively bigger, but yeah, there he is next to the good old X Transbots version. Let's see the back here. You do see more of a pronounced spoiler on this. I took that spoiler off because it kept falling off and I actually thought I lost a piece. So uh, it would have a spoiler on the X Transbots, but I don't want to lose it. And I was uh, using it in combined mode and yeah, a lot of stuff. With one, this one here, you have like some painted emblem and this one not a painted emblem but anyway yeah that's where they both look i think they both look great so far let's compare it to fans toys well we're gonna have to compare it to this fans toys because fans toys has yet to release the dead ends anyway that is going to have to do it's going to have to cut the mustard but uh maybe next year sometime we'll get the fans toys version of this but looking at them well first off this thing is super heavy i imagine when fans toys make it it'll be super heavy also but this is lightweight lighter weight and it's an arm and it makes sense i'm not upset about it i am a-okay with it i hope it clips in really well we'll see that here in a little bit and there's the back end i mean just kind of get an idea of aesthetic and some other masterpiece hot rotting type of vehicles there you go so features in the alt mode here would be the gun. So you have the standard gun, looks good. Uh, it doesn't look painted, it looks like just solid plastic. It has a pin in it to hold this transformation of a gun and it wasn't as smooth as last time. Okay, tabs into the slot on top, which is one way to do it. There's two slots, so I guess you get to pick what side you put it on. Uh, oddly enough, instead of like one in the center, you are off-centered, but that's how that is done. The other uh, gimmick that you would have in this mode is the ability to open these doors now. 
uh, part of the transformation where you can kind of pull these side pieces out a bit uh, will help gain access to the door. And then you can, of course, press this back in. That will work. Same thing over here, which I think messing around trying to find the easiest way to get the door out is what take, took these out. And I don't know why I couldn't get them back in. But anyway, you have opening doors, nice little gimmick that works. And uh, you don't see much in there other than bot parts. But hey, at least they are doing something. They didn't have to. Let's get this guy transformed into arm mode, which is really where I'm going to keep him. Uh, well, eventually. So let's, let's kind of split these. And as you split this, you can feel it just pop out. You can feel this pop out and then it just slides out. And when it slides out, it's going to slide into, okay, well it should slide into position. Why did it not? This go around. There it goes, into position. Now there's tabs here that go back into those side pieces and it strengthens it all up. You wanna flip the feet down so that you can gain clearance for this piece. And then you just simply slide that piece off. I say simply reconnect everything. And we're going to connect him to Minasaur. Okay, so here he is with DX9's Minasaur. Now I really haven't seen anybody combine this yet, so I'm gonna kinda of show how he fits on, which is really ultra simple. First off, you take the front half. When we transformed it don't miss transform it while you're doing it there's this kind of a slot tab thing here that slides into there it's really simple I want to make sure I get that on camera there you slide it in like that it's real simple slide it in slide it in now this bottom half make sure the feet are folded down like so and then here's like the groove and here is the slot and you're literally just gonna slide it on and, and then there's two tabs in there that tab right into it. And that's him. Now I have to admit, that looks good. That looks real good. And uh, I guess my leg is coming undone there, but let's turn them to the side here and look at the side profile of that. Yes, that looks really good. I like that. Now, if, if you're wondering about this review space, it looks familiar. It's different than my normal one, but it looks familiar. It's because I use it in my Retro Wednesday videos for the big play sets and so big things like big combiners and stuff so that's what this is all about and so yeah it works out i like the way this guy looks he's shaping up this is what he looks like so far this is still a rubber banded on x trans bots because well that trailer is still not here yet and uh, a few fiddly pieces on this guy i just want to point out real quick that like those like to pop out and right here i'm gonna have to adjust that leg again slide it back in there minor minor issues and complaints on what dx9 set is really a good set so far i like it it's a great value uh i'm pleased so this is really i would just like to say hey review's done but it's not we got to turn them into bot mode so let's slide this uh top half off and then let's uh disconnect this bottom half now the top part of the bottom is really on there tight uh which is good it's good, and this is lightweight, so let's just move him to the back, and he can just kind of chill back there, and we'll pick up the transformation from here. Let's slide this down, let's have a look at this. We're going to need to uh, reconnect this piece here, so pull that back out. We're gonna reconnect this, and that's good. We already are somewhere in the works getting into bot mode so we are going to need to split these legs there it goes and so splitting the legs there we go we're going to open that up and then we're going to try to uh, fold this all out got to get that clearance there we go to fold it all out and fold it to the halfway point and then fold this piece down Flip it all the way around. And there it goes. There it goes. Now, we gotta do some cleanup on here. We're gonna fold this flap down. We're gonna fold this piece out, flip it around. 
and this is a strange way to do it and then it's gonna fold in on itself like so and then we fold this piece down to fill that gap and then this piece in here to fill that and then you have the foot and it's then you flip this whole thing 180 and we've got one leg done okay so explaining this transformation it's 180 then 180 then 180 uh, I, I don't like transformations that are that much 180 going on and I don't like that this uh, tab isn't holding in so I tabbed them in and they're not staying so anyway okay next up we gotta do this other one right here so we're gonna undo this piece right there we have to get uh, all this undone untab that fold this puppy out get it past it and then fold this down and then flip it around yes around the rounded round well, round around this way yep there we go then we can fold this down come around here to this fold this piece oh, get the foot out of the way fold this up flip it 180 Fold it around. Fold this flap down. Fill all the gaps. And here we go. No? Yes. Alright, so we got the lower body, and I do like getting the legs done first. And let's move it up a bit. Okay, moving it up. We have got to work on this upper body a bit. Now, with this upper body, we're going to start by taking these uh, little place filler holder pieces. And, and they're kind of a challenge to get out. I'm... There that goes. Fold it up out of the way. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is split these arms. Fold them out on the back here. Fold this stuff out and then back in. Get that out of the way. And we need to work on these arms, which are crazy, actually. Okay, fold these out. And let's do one arm at a time uh, so it all makes sense. And we're going to flip this up, flip this around, flip this around and fold out his hand and then we need to adjust this to slide this in okay so you keep kind of spinning that till you get it lined up in this orientation that tabs in that folds down this folds over and the problem with this is that because let's fold that out and adjust all of this to look right because the arm is not the cleanest arm it's not the cleanest arm ever. Because of that, it's it's not as intuitive. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get this other side and make it a little bit smoother. So you untab this and then you lift up this piece here and then you undo the arm and then you move this kind of out of the way so that you can spin this around, move that arm out. You spin it around until you find the notch it's supposed to go into right here. Like that. Fold that down. Fold this down. Move the shoulder down and get everything into position. And then we have to get the head out. Ugh, turn him upside down. There we go. And well, there we have him. We have him in his robot mode and of course uh tab a few things in get them kind of cleaned up there and we're gonna have a look at this guy but we're gonna take him to the other review station so here he is in his robot mode i have to admit i think he looks really good let's get his gun in his hand typical mp way of doing a hand gun tab have it in there 
Is it that easy? Can never be that easy. And there it is. Now this is what he looks like with the gun in his hand, and it does hold really well. I, I like that. So uh, let's take a good look at this guy and look it up at his face. I like those those purple glasses he's wearing. It really looks good. He's got some paint on his face. Uh, I think the whole head uh, is is actually plastic, but the rest is all painted. And then going down here, I think that's actually paint. That's plastic. That's paint. That's paint all paint throughout so it looks good it got it has kind of a cartoony vibe uh more cartoony than real world but a little bit of real world elements in it too getting down here to the legs uh the wheels on the inside that's just the way it looks and all the way down it's just pretty clean it is a pretty clean looking bot the back looks clean he does have some gappage here uh i guess you can store maybe a mini bot in there maybe you can store his g1 version in there i don't know but it looks pretty good from the back. I mean, the full back, it's clean. I mean, that's not a bad looking bot. I have no arguments about it. I mean, I, it, it's good. And, and I think part of the transformation, you do kind of need to fold these two pieces back in, which I didn't show. But either way, with those out or that in, I mean, it really doesn't take away or detract from the look at all. It looks great run through articulation head side to side up and a little bit down you have the 90 on the shoulder and you have the 360 on the shoulder and it feels smooth and uh, I think you, you could take this up a lot higher if you want and you can get above the 90 so that's good swivel double jointed elbow beautiful articulation hand he, we saw kind of what he does it's got the rest of his fingers on one pin right there he does have waist swivel and an ab crunch now i don't know what you'd call this ab crunch uh this is the i have been partying too hardy i'm partied out dead end and then if you lift up the flaps that are there uh which really only has front flaps but you get the 90 front almost 90 to the back all the way up to the side uh, friction joint no ratchet don't need it right here don't need it because it's so lightweight now it's lightweight double it's got a second joint but you can't really access double jointedness so anyway that's just the way it is but uh you got quite you got everything you need and then down here with the uh ankle pivot whatever you want to do with that uh mini foot it's like a miniature foot <laughs> it's it's a mini foot but you know what it's a fake it till you make it and i you know i can live with it i can live with what they did here uh it looks like they have plenty of space though that they could have actually had a whole foot in there maybe this could have folded out to more of a foot uh and he's pretty stable like he's not going anywhere with the foot so yeah worked for me here he is next to dx9's motor master and nice looking team nice looking set I actually think DX9 is doing a great job, and I maybe I should apologize for calling this underdog an underdog because this is, they're bringing an A game here. Now I do admit neither one of these this guy's pretty stout, but not as heavy as Fans Toys, and I think that's actually going to be a good thing in combined mode. I and mean, we saw how well he works and looks in combined mode. So uh, with this set just aesthetically on your shelf, looking great. Here he is next to G1. What do you mean you don't see the G1? He's right there. Yeah, there he is next to G1. Uh, did borrow a lot of the design cues from G1, which is awesome. I love that. I love that they they still take some of the design cues from the G1 toy, and of course the G1 animation and the animation cell, and just looking at how he looks next to it. Looks great, uh, much tune accurate as they could go. Uh, still some kibble bits in the arms the arms are a bit kibbly uh but i could forgive that i guess i could forgive it I, I still like the way he looks here he is next to mp36 and a carbot and so prowl and as you can see a lot of people have a hang up that they think that the stunicons need to be the same size as the autobot carbots and for me personally i would have liked the autobot carbots to have been a little bit taller but again, maybe not this much taller. So I can kind of see that. 
I like the Stunicons being that size because I think they look better with their Motormaster. And when it comes to Motormaster, in my opinion, uh, the team looking good is more important to me than them matching the car bots. But then of course, it's all about you and what you like. So this was DX9's Kukinski, their take on Dead End. I think it's a great figure. I like the way he looks. I like the way he feels. He has excellent articulation. I can get him in any pose that I can conceive. So that's a good thing considering all he's going to be is a, is a left arm on my Minasaur. They did a great job with it. There is a bit of kibble on the forearms. The feet are a little small, but they don't affect posability articulation. So I'm going to give that a pass. Uh, the transformation itself is a bunch of 180s, which I'm kind of not a huge fan of the way that went. And it's a little bit like, yeah, does it feel like this is it? Yeah, I guess this is it. Kind of a transformation. But aside from all of that, he does look good. He looks good from the front. He looks good from the back. Even though he has a big hole in his back, it's not the end of the world. I think it's a great figure. And if I was going to get him for any mode, uh, both car bot and of course he's gonna be my arm then I think it'd be a good pickup now I got this at show Z you can get yours too uh, they're a little cheaper than everybody else so that's why I order from them and of course I've never had an issue so like subscribe let your hair out checklist for tomorrow he needs to go in arm mode. He needs to go in bot mode. This guy needs to get a review. This guy needs to get a... Whoa, whoa wait, wait. What just came in? What's that?